Hey, good morning, Positive Impact Club. Hey, today I wanna to talk to you about the core principle that drives our club. All different names for it, right? Some people call it the flywheel effect, some people call it the compound effect, some people call it the slight edge, some people call it fancy words like aggregation of marginal gains, but regardless of what people name and how authors and publishers try to package it, the concept is exactly the same. It's time tested, it's never failed, it's proven to work if you stay consistent and dedicated to the process, and simply put, it's continuous improvement. Each day you get a hair better than you were yesterday. You stay focused on all the little things that you know will bring you long-term results. And the analogies and the metaphors are endless, right? So if you take a little tiny snowball and you start to roll it down a hill, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And by the time it reaches that, the bottom of that mountain, you have a virtual avalanche, right? If you take a single penny and you just double it every single day for 30 straight days, at the end of the month, you'll have amassed over $5 million. If you want to run a marathon, but you've never run before, right I mean you just go out and you, you jog for five or ten minutes at a time right and then the next day you go a little bit further and a little bit further and after six months maybe you can get 13 miles and then after a year possibly the whole 26.2 mile marathon right so you get the picture I'm sure so so why doesn't everybody just do it then if all of these simple little things uh, that compound each day can bring you massive results over time in your life then why doesn't everyone just do it well I see two main reasons, right? The first one is that things that are easy to do are even easier not to do, right? So can you throw your running shoes on and go for a five minute jog tomorrow? Sure you can. Is it easier if you just don't go for a jog tomorrow? Sure it is. Can you have a salad for lunch all week? Of course you can. But does takeout taste better? Yeah, it sure does, right? So uh, can you save 50 bucks from your next paycheck? Probably. Would spending that money at the mall this weekend be a lot more fun? You betcha it would, right? So the problem is there's no immediate consequences for all of the small, poor decisions that we make each day. So if you skip the workout and you eat the pizza and you spend the savings at the mall, are you gonna die or go bankrupt tonight? No, you're not, right? So we justify these decisions with the no big deal attitude or it's not gonna kill us. But the reality is just like all of the great little things that we do each day that pile up into massive results, conversely, to not do these things will bring us massive failures over time. So the second question, uh, or the second reason that we don't stick with the concept of small wins and continuous improvement is that we're such an instant gratification society, right? We've gotten to a point where we don't want things today, right? We don't want them now. We want them yesterday. We, we're a society that stares at a microwave that's on for 45 seconds. We're mad it's taking too long for our food to heat, right? We don't lay in the sun when we want to tan anymore. We just go spray it on ourselves. We want to watch a movie. You don't have to wait for it to come on. You just tap a button at your fingertips and boom, it's there, right? So there's an old saying that patience is a virtue. Well, forget about it. Patience is a dinosaur. It's extinct. It doesn't exist anymore. We've allowed ourselves to fall into a trap that if we can't have it immediately, we don't want it at all. But the reality is there is no shortcut when it comes to success. And there is still a natural order to growth, right? We have to plant, we have to cultivate, and then we can harvest. But you can't plant today at 9 a.m. and then go out tomorrow and harvest at noon, right? And this is why people don't stick to all the little things that need to be done consistently. You have to take a leap of faith. You have to trust the system. But most importantly, you have to start, right? And you have to stick with the plan. So eating healthy today will not make you instantly thinner tomorrow. Wish it would, it doesn't. Jogging today will not make you marathon ready tomorrow, right? Sorry, just not gonna happen. If you read one chapter of a great book today, right? It does not make you an expert tomorrow. However, if you do not do any of these things, you are guaranteed to make zero progress tomorrow. And that just isn't acceptable. But the good news is with a few of our Positive Impact Club daily disciplines, you will see some immediate results and some instant gratification. So when you're kind to others, you get a shot of dopamine in your brain and you feel happier. When you reflect on all of the positive things that happened in your life yesterday, you get excited today. And when you meditate, even when you just take a few minutes to shut it all down and focus on your breath and become more aware, you get relaxed right away, right? So here's my challenge to you. It's like Nike says, just do it. Take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith that your small daily activities are compounding, they're working, they're adding up to something big, right? And I encourage you to share some of the little things that you do each day that make a big difference. So I want you to state your commitment 
and you're focused to at least one small daily win for today. Share that commitment with your team, share it with other members of the PIC and our Facebook page, and I look forward to reading all of those comments. And more importantly, I look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow, but you're gonna be a little better version of yourself tomorrow than you are today.